service that you've taken us through. would like to thank you for the hearts of your children that have returned back to you. I pray that, Father, you, br- you bless each one of us who has returned. And, Father, those who have not managed to return, may you uh, give them more blessings that they may be able to bring next time. 
We pray for this offering that it will do your work to finish the work of the gospel as we wait for your second coming. In the name of Jesus Christ who prayed. Amen. Happy Sabbath. I would like to welcome everybody who has come here today. Today, uh, today, Musasa is 20 years of age. Uh, we are celebrating these 20 years. Uh, it's not easy for a community of this nature where students come and go. Students come and go. There could be a time whereby uh, there could be no students coming who are Seventh-day Adventists and therefore the church would not be there. That's the very reason our years of existence of Musasa. Amen. Glory and honor be to God. Amen. Uh, my name is Aloro Robert. I was able to come with my family. Please uh, could you, my wife, could you be able to stand up for recognition? Uh, my task is a small one. Uh, to call upon our chaplain to welcome uh, the guests uh, who are going uh, to talk to us. And also let me take this opportunity a uh, vote of thanks to Kampala Central Church for supporting uh, this occasion. Thank you so much. Amen. God is good. I can't hear you. That's why I've moved closer. God is good. And all the time, turn to your neighbor and say, Neighbor, neighbor, Musasa, Musasa. Now, we are going to do a small activity before I hand over the microphone. Uh, whatever I say, that there is no, you just answer place. Ready? Are you ready? Okay, there is no. Put in some energy. I know it is cold. That's why I want to warm you a bit before the pastor comes. There is no. Better than this. Sweeter than this. So this is the right. Yes, this is the right place to be. Our friends who can hear my voice, you can come and join us. When I went to Ishaka, the name for place is Umwanya. So I want us to use that word, Umwanya. It means a place. Let us go. There is no better than this, sweeter than this. So this is the right. Umwanya. I give you the last one, Kabedo. Kabedo from northern Uganda. There is no better than this, sweeter than this. So this is the right. Yes, this is the right, Kabedo. We want to welcome all of you in a special way. Is there any visitor among us uh, today who is not a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church? I just want to see you. If you are invited, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for loving Musasa and coming to worship with us. We are, I'm here to offer a vote of thanks to the different student associations existing here for the good cooperation you have with Musasa. There are many things that we share here and there. When we go for medical camps, we get tents, we get public address system. Please convey our gratitude uh, to your chaplains and to your leadership. I also want to welcome the parents who have joined us. There are a number of parents who have come to celebrate with us. But among those, allow me to recognize the very first one who came and registered in our book, our mother, Nabanja Nora. Where are you seated? We want to welcome you, a mother of, I don't know, the, the, the child is, please run, run very fast here. Oh, you're this way, please come. Where, where is the, the student? Come, come here for recognition. Go and give mommy a hug. Tell, thanking her for coming. Just there. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Go 
God bless you. We want to welcome the Calvary Ministries in a special way. Please, you're a very popular choir. Take many photos. Go and post whatever you post, tag on Musasa, such that people get to know about this great institution. Uh, we want to thank our partners, 3ABN TV and Avento Media. Please also love Musasa. And that's why they are even standing when even it was raining. Whatever is happening here, it is going to feature on 3ABN TV on a, on a program known as Ebifa Mukanisa. So we shall be letting you know uh, when this will be happening. Allow me also welcome our patron, Elder Sechewa. Elder Sechewa, where is? Oh, very much welcome. Did you come with the entire family? They are worshipping with you. I also want to welcome the staff. They are SDAs, but they are staff of Mulago Nursing School and also paramedical. If you are staff, please stand up for recognition. This is our day to celebrate. I know, Elder, you stood up. You can stand again. Please stand up. Staff. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Boris is there. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, we have the leadership of the public campus ministries, that is CUC, and also the Ukasa leadership. That is the one for Uganda. They have come to represent. We have a friend who traveled all the way from Midwestern Uganda field. Uh, Nanda Ola Esther, where are you seated? Amen. Amen. Oh, God bless you. Yes, yes. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for loving us. Please convey our gratitude to uh, the team there. Tell them that when they have similar events, we shall also repay the offer. We shall repay what they have done for us. All the other student associations, I know they welcomed you, but for recognition, please stand up. The president here welcomed you. Just stand up for recognition. All the student associations, Muzda, Mesasa, uh -huh. there is one known as Fizida Fisheries. God bless you, Kyuzida, and all the other Zdas. Welcome, Mesasa is there. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for loving us. Lastly, lastly, any, anyone who is aspiring to become a pastor's wife, please stand up for recognition. None. Hey, amen, amen. Aha, I knew. I knew. You people, you were laughing and you thought the, the wedding is very soon. So I had seen how we served with her during the camp meeting last year in Luzida. Now, I didn't know what was happening. But after they, I saw a proposal, introduction as like, eh, chikuteyo. Thank you, Mchala Msumba, for coming uh, to worship with us. Uh, the, the fiance, uh, the husband now, the pastor ministers in Luzida district. Okay, God bless you. Uh, a special welcome uh, to Nalongo. Babali Lidia. Please stand up. We need other pastor's wives. So she's a product of Musasa. That means current Musasa members. You know where to choose. Pastors. And you become Salongos and Nalongos. Lastly, we are so excited as Musasa. Celebrating 20 years like Elder Aloro has mentioned. By the way, we want to thank him, Elder. But the thanks, let me give it to Mrs. Aloro and the family. Elder was driving the pickup, bringing tents, bringing chairs, and I felt, I said, oh, wow, what a treasure we have in Musasa. Now I'm thanking you for giving him that time, such that he does all the Musasa activities. We want to thank our first elder. There's a, a meeting we sat in and they voted money, let it go to support this event. Kampala Central Church members want to thank you uh, for loving Musasa today. Somebody said, you've brought the entire delegation. Yes, we are celebrating. First elder, together with our district pastor. Uh, pastor Chigundu Benon Lincoln, please stand up for recognition. Amen. And uh, because I'm also excited, allow me to tell you this. We are launching a new English zone on the 14th of April at Bunga Central Church. And the good news is that the zone leader You've seen him. Not me. The other side. <laughs> Pastor, you're welcome. Welcome to Musasa. Thank you for loving us.
What do we say to our pastor? Amen. That one is a weak one. Amen. May we give God a big amen for Pastor Perez. Amen. Praise the Lord Church. Amen. And happy Sabbath. Amen. We praise the Lord. I'm excited to be here today. You know, when we were coming in, it was raining, and I said, you see, I was telling the friends we came with that these are blessings. Hallelujah. And I can't wait for a day when we shall have a place of worship, not anywhere else, within. Amen. Who is with me in that? And who believes so, like I do, that a time is coming when we shall be worshiping? Not from anywhere else, but from within, over where, but God knows. And it will happen at one time. Hallelujah. I want to thank God so much for this day. For the 20, 20 years. 20 years. It is not uh, a little time. 20 years for somebody who is already a candidate of marriage at 20, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, 20 years. And when the pastor was saying, you see, where are those who are aspiring to be pastor's wives? I expected many more. Because it is a blessing to serve as a pastor's wife. Amen. Hallelujah. And we are going to pray for somebody. If you are here and you desire to be a pastor's wife, stand up. At some time, we are going to pray. If it is your desire that you may be a pastor's wife. Anybody? Feel free. The angels are here and they are taking note. It has been your prayer request. Don't feel shy. My sister, she's over there. Just relax and our pastor will offer a prayer. I had there is somebody here. May God bless you, sister. Pastor, you are going to pray for her. Your name is? This is very serious. Favor. Favor. Put her in your prayer, pastor. And any other person, it may, you know, the blessing may go like that. I want to tell you, be serious. Stand up. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, no problem. But I want to welcome everybody. Please kindly feel free. Feel at the feet of Jesus. You are in his presence. Hallelujah. You see, uh, when Pastor was introducing, he introduced uh, um, uh, Pastor Caleb's wife, Nalongo. Thank you for coming. I'm also aspiring Salongo. That's why I'm always close to Elder Paul Salongo. To give me notes on how things are done. And uh, also I'm always you know, in touch with Pastor Caleb. How are things done? You know, and uh, which kind of prayer do I make? You know, things like that to God. Because, yeah, I also want to be a salon. I want to thank God for my brother Danson. Please kindly stand up and wave to the congregation. Amen. What do we say, church? Amen. He's my friend. And he loves, you know, uh, the students at Musasa. You may not know, but you have people who love and care for you there. And are praying for you and are supporting you. Please pray for us. We have some project we want to undertake. It is a serious one. But with your prayers, we shall overcome. And we shall give you the results as soon as possible. I'm here to introduce my pastor. He's none other than... Pastor Emmanuel Sali Chisache. Amen. Pastor Sali Chisache, he comes from the Nchima clan. Anybody from Nchima clan here? We are the only, only handsome people in Uganda. And in Uganda. <laughs> Secondly, we don't prostrate before the Kavaka. We are the grandparents of the Kavaka. Hallelujah. Chosen people. Thirdly, of course, we are ministers of the gospel. And we are loving people. And I want to thank God. You know, Pastor Chisache, he's my elder. He's my brother. And he is my friend. And I took after him here in this district, Kampala A district. And he has mentored me very well. You know, 
we started as chaplains and I called him one time and I told him, Pastor, I've been, uh, well, uh, I'm a chaplain, but now I've been uh, a saint to a given district. How do I handle? I was new and I didn't know how to manage. He told me, Pastor, don't worry. God will be with you. He gave me notes and Pastor, I am moving with those notes up to now. And he has just whispered to me something there that stand firm, my brother. Like the pastor said, we are having a new zone coming up. Come 14th of this month. And I want to invite members here. We are going to be at Bunga. Please uh, save that date, 14th of uh, April. We are going to be inaugurated as a new English zone. And by God's grace, I am the chairperson. So I am inviting you. Please do come and we celebrate together like we are celebrating the 20 years. So may God bless Pastor Tsache as he will be ministering to us. Continue praying for Musasa. We need to grow from strength to strength by God. On our side, we are more than conquerors. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Smile Jesus loves you. Who is happy to be here? I'm also happy. I'll come our choir to come and give us a special item. Amen. 
The Lord, the Lord is good, is and, all, and the all the time, we are here, we are here to, celebrate to celebrate and to and thank, thank the, Lord the Lord for his, for work, his work among us, among us, us especially, especially here, here at Musasa. Musasa at 20, 20 you, you say, say Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Musasa at 20, 20 Ebenezer. We want to thank the Lord really for this very special day. Allow me to use a few minutes to recognize and to thank my leaders here. Ereda Alolo, Pastor Perez, Pastor Chigundu. I usually want to call Elder Mugabe, Pastor Mugabe, because <laughs> everything that requires him to be a pastor, he has it. So, Pastor uh, Mugabe, please. It is this blessing that we want to thank the Lord for when we are celebrating Musasa at 20. I bring Christian greetings from Central Uganda Conference. The bishop and all the departmentals have sent you greetings. They have sent you greetings and they want to thank the Lord for all that is taking place even here at Musasa. Amen. I want to I welcome, want to welcome the, choirs, the choirs, the different the associations, associations, everybody, everybody the, the pastor's, pastor's wives. wives. What is Nalongo? Nalo. Yes, yes. <laughs> you are so yes. much welcome. welcome. And the salongos around. around. Um, um, some, of some of you don't know, you don't know. although Pastor although Chigundo has said that, that he's my, I am, I am his elder, he's my elder, elder, elder brother. brother. I'm a I'm young brother of Pastor Chigundo. Yes, yes, I am, I am still, still learning, learning a lot, a lot from, from him, him. Uh, especially, especially things, things to do with bearing, bearing children. children. I am, I am just, just learning, learning also, also learning, learning from, from Brother Mugabe, Mugabe how, how to have, have twins, twins, you can you know. Can know. <laughs> if they will share notes with us, we shall be glad to do the need. For. Otherwise, I want to wish you a happy Sabbath as we celebrate Musasa at 20. Musasa at 20. Ebeneza. Ebeneza. I want to thank God for the Calvary Ministries. Mwebali okuweleza. Ate no kuweza katonde chitibwa mungeri jemu chikola mkama wafe yeba zibwe nyo. Mukirizoro wabude tugende mchigambo. We would like to go in the word. But everyone feel welcome and at the feet of Jesus. Elda Chiranda and brother others there. Banae mwena. Kare nyambako. Tell your neighbor that dear neighbor you are so much welcome at the feet of Jesus Christ. 
Okay, let us pray. Loving Father, we would like to thank you so much for this blessing. We thank you so much for allowing us to come to celebrate 20 years of ministry here at Musasa. I want to thank you for the students and for the staff that have really chosen to carry the banner of Christ high. And we want to thank you for the leaders in this institution to avail us space so that we can worship your holy name. Father, we pray that as we hear your word, touch my brain cells and my lips, that the word you have spoken physically here may be spoken to me and through me, through the power of the Holy Spirit, for this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Psalms 107, verse 1. Almost the entire chapter is wishing all that men would thank the Lord. For he is good and his love endures forever. I don't know what you might have gone through in your life. But the Bible is so clear that we need and we must give thanks to the Lord. Because God is good. Hallelujah church. Hold me to tell your neighbor that dear neighbor, whether it is good or not good, we ought to thank the Lord because he is always right and he is always good. In this chapter, in verse 2 he says, let the redeemed of the Lord say this, those he redeemed from the hands of the foe. Those he gathered from the lands from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in the desert, finding no way to a city where they could settle. There are many reasons why we need to thank the Lord. We are here to celebrate God's mighty power, God's intervention. God is leading in all the activities that have been done here in school. Now, I believe most of us who are here, we must have gone through some tertiary institution of some kind. What I remember and what I know is that when somebody reaches any tertiary institution, it is all up to you whether you go to class or not. That is common and that is normal. But much more so, as far as your moral and spiritual life, it is still all up to you. You are reckoned as mature. You can freely go into a relationship because you feel like having somebody. You want to have a chick? You want to have a guy? Nobody can say, please, what is that? You say, I am mature. I am of age. And especially when you have gone over 18, wow. You can choose to stay in your hostel or not. It is true, we have wardens. But well, their work is not so much. Where is Sandra? No, no, no. Okay, Sandra is at home. Fine. Even if you're not at home. It all comes back to you. It's all up to you. You can choose to begin taking drugs. You can choose to go high by taking some alcohol. Nobody will say, hey, what is this? He said, come on, I'm mature. And especially when we are here in the middle of town. I am speaking this with experience. I studied from a certain school somewhere in Kawempe. I had my secondary school in Ibugema. And we had people who used to tell us, even don't look at a girl. 
Now I did my A level just here at Old Kampala. And I was staying in a hostel just near Kampala Central Church. And we were free, like I said, free. If you want to sleep in the hostel, it's up to you. If you want to go to Club Sirik, you can go. If you want to go to Anzenua, you can go. If you want to go anywhere, you are free to go. Now, I remember when I joined that institution and when I was in that hostel over there, the devil whispered to me, and which I believe he must have whispered to some of you, especially those who started and those who are members of this association and similar associations to this one. The devil told me, they've been hard on you since childhood. You did not have freedom to choose what to do and what not to do. At home, your parents were always on you. Where are you? Why do you come back late? Even in secondary school, you have been having that. Now you are free. By the way, I had come with my lesson, my Bible and songbook. The devil told me, don't put those things out. This is your time to enjoy yourself. Don't tell the world that you belong to anything like a God or religion. This is now your time. And if you don't use this time, you might never have time again. And surely for some days, I never quote my Bible, not even a songbook, not even a lesson, because I wanted to do something for myself. The devil was telling me, if you don't do it now, then never. And so, in one way or the other, I can see what students go through when they choose to be members of the Sasas, the, the, those Seventh Adventist associations. It's not easy. You are really showing the world that you are foolish. How can you come to such a campus and you don't have a chick and you a guy? How true can we know that you are to this level when you don't have a guy, when you're a chick? By the way, are you human enough? By the way, do you even have blood in yourself? Let me ask you, by, do you even have something like a brain in yourself? Are you somebody? Are you a human being? The true reason why we are celebrating today I am sorry to abuse some of us. We are celebrating your foolishness. Can I request you to tell even your neighbor that we are here to celebrate a form of foolishness. Yes. Before the world, this is a form of foolishness. You cannot tell somebody that you are here, you have been admitted in this institution or in other institutions, and you dare to spare time to have the Lord with you. You even spend a full day without attending lectures. You even take a full day without doing exams sometimes. And even in your hostel, you're not taking liquor. You're not going out for debts in a wrong way. And you are free, your parents are far. And then you tell us that Musasa has been here for 20 years. Yes, by God's grace, those foolish guys started the association and others have been joining and enjoying the ministry of God through such form of foolishness. Amen. Amen. Now some of you don't want to accept that it is foolishness even to be here today. Before the world, 
Now what are those people doing outside there? This is a working day to them. And they are going to spend the entire day out there. But those people, religion is spoiled to them. But let me cool your minds. But before you cool it, because I have already abused you, can you welcome that foolish person also for being here? Welcome your neighbor, the dear neighbor. Thank you for being foolish to be here at such a time as this. <laughs> and those who are wise are they are not here. But let me quench your hearts. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 18 that for the message of the cross is the foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The gospel, the message of the cross, it is a foolishness before the world. All the way from its conception even up to today, it is still very foolish. How dare you believe that somebody who has done a sin all the way from the Garden of Eden, Eve and Adam the husband because they have eaten of the forbidden tree that an innocent animal which did not disobey God which did not eat of the tree the forbidden tree that when it was slain then they would be accepted before God right away from conception Cain the Bible says in chapter 4 of Genesis that he said, this is foolishness. For me, I have fruits. I have all these other things. Because I am a farmer, I am going to offer this because it's what I have. Let me say, logically, was Cain a little bit wise? Was he wise? Because he was a farmer. He had watermelon. He had bananas. He had apples. All those fruits. We are with him. But Abel, because he was a shepherd, he offered the lamb because it was what God had wanted. But the other one said, no, I can offer whatever I have. The Bible says that Cain and what he offered was not accepted. But Abel and what he offered was accepted. And because Cain thought that he was wiser, than Abel who had done what was right. He even construed to kill his brother. Because he thought and he knew the brother was in the wrong. Ever since the program of salvation. It has been a foolishness before uh, the world. And he says for it is written in verse 19. I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. And the intelligence of the intelligent. I will frustrate. Where is the wise man and where is the scholar? Where is the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolish the, wise, the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not know him. God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to serve those who believe. Hallelujah. Even as we speak today, it is somehow foolish to believe in Jesus Christ. Fortunately, you are paramedicals and even medical practitioners. How dare you preach to me today that somebody conceived without having a male gamete fusing with a female gamete? Either through a test tube or through some sort of insertion. But you simply come in the morning and Mary is here speaking that she's pregnant. Out of what? That the Holy Spirit came over me. Such a foolishness even today in today's science. Somebody is pregnant because something has been done to that person. But not simply to wake up one morning and Mary is pregnant. Even then... It is one of the reasons why the cross was still something that was really for foolish people. 
How can you tell us a lie that this lady got pregnant without somebody sleeping with her? To her with your, with your words. It is one of the reasons that even today, many even Israelites have failed to believe in the plan and the program of salvation. Saying we cannot have a savior through this girl who simply conceived and she simply did not tell us the actual father. And he was saying that God is... Does God have a wife? Even today some people are failing to believe in the plan of salvation. Saying, can God have... Okay, tell me the wife of God who produced the son Jesus Christ. And because of such thinking, which they think is higher thinking, many people are going to fail to receive the gift of salvation which is just by faith through Jesus Christ who was born in such a way that to the world does not really match up to any of the to anything because it, when it is said God does not produce how can you tell me that God has a son and they usually ask a question who is his wife Forgetting that even in Quran Karim and even in the Bible, God simply says that be and you become a child. John chapter 1 verses 12 says that those who believed in him have been given the right to become sons and children of God. Hallelujah church. Can I see the children of God here? Tell your neighbor that dear neighbor, God did not have to squeeze himself for your mother. But he simply said be because you accepted the plan of salvation. Amen. Now the, we are here to celebrate people who believe in what the world calls a myth. Somebody whispered to me when I was in a theological college and said you know pastor when I read these things the Darwin theory and others I feel like what we are teaching that the world was created in seven days and it was created like Genesis chapter 1 and 2 says, says in fact for me I have almost left the entire Old Testament I only preach Christ and him crucified I remember telling him don't even preach about Christ because the story of redemption begins right from the story of creation. True or false? Yes. Let me use the simple logic of yours. We receive malaria from a plasmodium parasite which is transmitted by Anopheles mosquitoes. Is that true? Now, any antimalarial drug kills the parasite, the plasmodium parasite, that is transmitted by the mosquito, especially the anopheles, and therefore it treats malaria. Now, Jesus Christ is the anti-sin drug. And the sin drug, which I can call the plasmodium, is transmitted or death is transmitted by sin, which is the mosquito. And the mosquito, which is sin, is first talked about in Genesis chapter 1 and 2 and 3. Now, how dare you talk about any antimalarial drug when you don't believe in the mosquito transmitted disease? Am I speaking to somebody? Is my argument coming out a little bit? Now, because sin is mentioned as having originated in Genesis 1 to 3, and therefore death came by sin, and in the very chapter 3, verses 15 and 21, we can see an innocent animal dying instead of Adam and Eve, and therefore they lived. And it was pointing out to Jesus Christ who was yet to come. 
That's where we receive the story of salvation all the way from Genesis up to Revelation. But now to the world who believe that we came by evolution several thousand million years ago and the world has been in existence and death is just but a natural happening. Therefore Jesus Christ is now and void. He is treating something wrong which was not caused by sin. But you and me, we believe that Jesus came to die to take the death which was supposed to be the one of us because of the disobedience which originated from the Genesis story of chapter 3 of Genesis. To the world, you seem to be foolish. But to God, that is the wisdom of God. As the Bible clearly puts it here. Allow me to read with you. Verse 16. Oh, I'm sorry. The Bible here says, I am still in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses now. Um, verse, let me begin from 2. That Jews demand miraculous signs, and the Greeks look for wisdom. Some people will never believe God unless there is a miracle. In fact, let me tell you, the devil is one of the first miracle makers as far as the Bible is recording. Because it was a miracle for the snake to speak. And because it spoke that day, Eve was overwhelmed by the snake speaking. And she even spoke what she was not supposed to speak. You see God told us not to eat of the tree. Not even to touch it. Whereas God had never told them that. And some people say that the, the snake wrapped itself around the tree. And he said you see how God is fake. I have wrapped myself all around. But nothing is happening on me. Even eating is not anything like forbidden. By the way you are going to know good and evil. And it was advertised as something that was good. Now let me tell you. For us, we believe in God regardless of whatever it is because the Bible says it, I believe it. I want to say that slogan when I say the Bible speaks. <laughs> the Bible speaks it. I believe it if it's in the Bible. Verse 23 says that, but we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to the Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles. You know, the Jews were expecting a savior to come from a renowned family. They were expecting somebody to come from really a, a, a very well-off family. But to them, that very time, Joseph was one of the poorest guys on the village. In fact, rich guys used to have gardens. They used to have farms, either animal farm or even crop farms. But this guy who was just a carpenter in one of the slums in a very tiny home and to tell us that the Savior has been born by this guy, it was quite foolish. And I want to tell you, because you also Google, up to today, the Israelites are still waiting for a Savior. And they are having a religion called Judaism. They are still anticipating they are still praying hard that God send that Savior whom you promised to us. Because Jesus Christ did not match their intellectual, their philosophical description of who a Savior should be. Now, Christ and even the truth and the gospel, to the world it is still foolishness. But we preach Christ crucified a stumbling block to the Jews and the foolishness to Gentiles. Now, how dare you tell me that we people who are here in Uganda or in Africa, that we also need that gospel of Jesus Christ. And some people will say, that was for the foreigners, that was for the Bazungu. For us, we have our Rubare, we have Jaja Mwanga, we have others. Those are ours. Those are for them. And when you believe in Jesus Christ, even today here, people see you like you have something like 
a hole on your brain. Something is missing. You are supposed to better worship Jaja Muanga than it worship Jesus Christ. To them, Jesus Christ is null and void. So he is a foolishness to many people. And we are celebrating people who believed in Jesus Christ in this institution. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to the Jews and a foolishness to the Gentiles. But to those who God has called, hallelujah, Amen. can I see those who God has called? Tell your neighbor that for us who God called, Jesus Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Hallelujah, church. Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. But to the world it is foolishness. I am sorry. Uh, this week I saw a clip of somebody who was a fellow believer with us. But in one way or the other, this person chose to take on some lifestyle which is not acceptable as far as the Bible is concerned. By the way, today, um, may I request Nalongo and the sister to come here a little bit. What they call wisdom today, and they are teaching it from nursery now even up to university, is that you can have two ladies. Just stand here a little bit. This is what they are teaching your children. For those of you who take children to very modern, very modern nursery schools. They will give you two images of two ladies with the breasts. Everything is feminine. But they are teaching them that you can call one of them, this is daddy, this is mommy. Two ladies. That's what they call buongo. That's what they call wisdom. In fact, one of the teachers in USA brought a, a picture, brought a reality of a lady with the breasts and whatever, and told the class, when you see somebody with the breasts, with this, this type of hair, this one is a lady, this one is a mother. And brought another one which was showing a man. And they said, this one is a man they crossed and cancelled the teaching license of that person. Before you go, can I have two men here? Just here. They are teaching your children they call wisdom. Two men with the ties, with the beards, and they call one daddy, the other one is mommy. Telling our children that that's what it means to be wise. Now, never call such a person a woman. Ah, even this one can be called mommy and the other one is dad. This one can be called daddy. This one can be called mommy. When they are women. And that's what the world is calling wisdom. And in fact, when you tell them that you know, a woman is the one who is supposed to be a mother and this one is supposed they say no, that is foolishness. Now, you can see what the world is calling wisdom. In reality, that is the actual foolishness. What the Bible is giving to us is the actual truth. Hallelujah, church. Amen. We are here to celebrate people who have stood for the truth which is in the Bible. To the world, it's foolishness. But that's what is going to see us through this world and even to be heirs into the world to come. Hallelujah, church. Amen. You may go and get seated. Thank you so much. Now, the Bible has clearly put it here. In verse 24, but to those who God has called, both Jews and Greeks, and even Ugandans, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. For the foolishness of God is wiser than man's wisdom. I love that verse. Tell your neighbor that, dear neighbor, whatever you think is foolishness, because it comes from God, it is wiser than man. And what you call the weakness of God is stronger than man's strength. I remember when I was in that hostel which I've told you. 
you could look out of place on the weekend when your colleagues have come high they are coming when they are uh, they are saying they are coming from all those corners around there and they are high i remember one time I had the two shoot cases. One in one I was keeping my eats, the flour, the rice and other things, and in the other one I was keeping the textile and whatever and the books. So a certain guy came and said, "Hello, can you give us some water? I used to keep some water into that other one because it was a funny hostel. Some of you must have known it." opposite where there was Kampala High it was a very funny hostel but um but they were high i took some water from from that shosekes i gave to him he came back when i had gone somewhere and said where is this guy he turned that shosekes upside down and it began to pour water out and the other guy told him but this guy has always been good to you why do you do such a thing for him and pour water is pouring on his bed said don't familiarize me so they began to fight one of them sat on the other one and started to pound his head and the blood began to ooze out of his head and he held him tight as we hold the head of the cock as we cut it but i i said what is this that is the time i began to know that what the devil was telling me to do was the actual foolishness was the actual what foolishness after about a week or two i took out my lesson my bible and i went even to kampala central to pray because i knew what the devil wanted me to do was the actual foolishness but before the world you seem a little bit foolish not to go for dancing not to go for alcohol not to go for immoral practices outside there which is very common into the, um, the other world and this is why the bible says that what we call the weakness of god is surely stronger than man's strength in fact most of the students i studied with in that time because in those days is when we had hiv when it was without even rvs and others most of them are already in the ground most of them and that foolishness of not getting involved in immoral practices of not getting drunk of not getting high in one way or the other is what is keeping me up to today and that is the foolishness that god would like each one of us to accept and we leave that one which the world calls wisdom let me repeat this verse 25 for the foolishness of god is wiser than man is wisdom and the weakness of God is stronger than man's strength. Amen. Today, somebody can come and it disturbs you on your property. And it is really your property. And the wisest thing would be for you to go out and you fight. But that weakness of not fighting, that weakness of not abusing that person, that's where there is the strength of God. Hallelujah, church. Amen. Now let me tell you. When somebody wants to bewitch you. That person will at least disturb you. So that you either fight that person. Let me demonstrate. I'm a young president. Now, James, you remember when you are finishing your studies here, you borrowed some money from me. I want my money. 
mpa sente zange I want my man. Hey, Gwandala <laughs> Now because I bet him something and he returns it to me, magic is allowed it to work. Nebwe musindika, nata nsindika. Bwe mukuba, nata nkuba. That's where you will see the power of God. Even if somebody brought to charms from Nigeria, from Congo, from wherever you know, there is the strongest whatever. If somebody does evil to you and you don't pay back, that's where there is the strength of God. Amen. 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 We are in weak things, but that's where there is the actual strength of God in the salvation which we have in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible here says that brothers, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Are you following me? According to human standards, when you come here, you are supposed to dress anyhow. But we are here to celebrate those who still held the standards of heaven while they were in such an institution. Amen. When you come to such a place, you are supposed to eat anything because that is what we call class. But we are here to celebrate those who still said like Daniel and they made a choice and they said yes, there are many cheaper things to eat around but because of God I prefer even a more expensive diet but what is preferred by God. Amen. Amen. In most countries the cheapest stuff you know <laughs> the cheapest food you know but to the Bible it is not the, 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 the best. Morally, it looks awkward and funny to be in such an institution without having a relationship with somebody. We are here to celebrate those who, by God's grace, would say, yes, I see the image of God is good, but well, until we are married. Until we say, you are the one. Those people who seemed to be weak, they are the ones we are celebrating. 20 years to show the character of God spiritually. How dare you come for worship while your colleagues are in class studying. But I want to thank God that many of you who stood for Christ, Christ also stood for you and your grades were really higher. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember even in that institution I really performed well because God also pays those that really come exemplify him. Intellectually, there are many things as already mentioned about them. But in verse 26, they say that brothers, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. Hallelujah. Now some of you who even have businesses, today I can see here my, my boyfriend, Mukade Mugabi, his business is closed today. Does he even have any brain in him? But because of Christ, he says, I am doing what you want and Christ is doing what he wants. Hallelujah. Even today, some of you 
are only those of you who are married. You are having one spouse. Whereas there are many other people who are saying, Banange, you look so nice, you look so cute. And you say, thank the name of the Lord. And you walk away without saying, what can we do? Such foolishness is what will make you successful in this world, but more so to be here into the kingdom of God. Amen. I want to thank those who are not yet married, but you are still keeping yourself for Christ until the day somebody will say, I do. It is never easy. Recently, when I lost my wife, of course I had to go back into the market to find someone. And the people had work. Tell your neighbor that people have work. <laughs> people really had work. And you feel like, yes, why can't I touch something? You know? But God is not so happy when we do funny things which are not biblical. It is not easy. But God is inviting us to be foolish before the world but wise before him. Amen. 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 But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He chose the lowly things of this world and he and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him it is because of him that you were that you are in Christ Jesus who has become for us wisdom from God hallelujah we are here to celebrate the wisdom of God through Christ. And he says as he concludes, that is our righteousness, our holiness, and our redemption. Therefore, as it is written, let him who boasts, boasts in the Lord. We are here to boast in the Lord because he has been able to be exemplified in this institution. Amen. Amen. And in other institutions where some of you are. I want to tell you the good news. That at time T. All that we saw as was shameful. God will whisper such words as. Well done good and faithful servant. Now you can enter into the joy of your master. As I conclude. I want to thank God for this verse which is also found in Romans chapter 1 verses 26, I mean 16. Paul was saying he is not at all ashamed but he was proud and I want to encourage ourselves that let us continue to be proud of the gospel. Hallelujah. Because it is God's power unto salvation. The world needs to, to see Christ today in our lives. Even the more. 116 he says that I am not ashamed of the gospel. Can I see those who are not ashamed of the gospel? Amen. 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 All the way from conception, the gospel has been a shame. But there have been people who have stood for that shame. And because of them, we have been able to see the gospel. And because of them, we are going also to tell others about this good news. And God is going to redeem us because we have not been shameful for the gospel. I am not ashamed of the gospel. Because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. Hallelujah. First for the Jews, then for the Gentiles. For in the gospel... A righteousness from God is revealed. A righteousness that is by faith from first to the last. Just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. Now it is faith that has kept many of us 
in those very different institution to still say that I am a Christian and God is my God and Jesus is my savior. Amen. Such a character was the character of Daniel. Such a character was the character of many other patriarchs. And it is what God is demanding from you and me that we exemplify the character of Christ in such an era as this it is. Children of God, we are here to thank God for those of you who have stood strong and I request that we continue not to be ashamed. May I request you to tell your neighbor that dear neighbor, continue not to be ashamed of the gospel because it is God's power. I have seen days of glory but even to have glory here sometimes never for me friends can smile away my grief just to see them rejoice when the rivers of joy because he also gave his life for us and he's saying what have you done to the lord shall we turn thank you so much for giving your life to and christ in his name. and i want to tell you you will lose utterly nothing because life begins from him and life ends in him those of you who are still wherever you are we need never to be ashamed of the gospel. Which number is that song I gave my life for thee? Hmm? 281. In SDA hymn. one question before we continue is there just but one of us who says that by grace of God I want to continue not to be ashamed of the gospel and I will always lift the banner of Christ wherever I will go though it may seem to be shameful but at time T I reap out of that is there somebody who has such a prayer may I request you to stand up I didn't say everyone, but somebody who says, I want not to be ashamed of the gospel. Njagala obula mobo. Nga siswaro luenjiri. Amazima, njaga ita mazima. I will call a spade a spade. Not a big spoon. Such a life. To the world you may seem to be foolish. But before God, that is the wisdom of God. Why can't you sing with me the third verse of that song? I suffered much for you. Much more than tongue can tell. Mm -hmm. I suffered much Today, God is inviting you and me to still say, God is love and Christ is my Savior. Amen. Through your character, through your lifestyle, 
through your identity and through all your practice, God is still in need of those that can say there is salvation in Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your son, we come before you this afternoon. Thanking you for what the world calls foolishness, but to you it is wisdom. The plan of salvation all the way from the beginning has been fought by the devil. But regardless of all that fight in the great battle, we want to thank you for those who have stood with you and for you all throughout all the ages there have been people who have stood for the truth in this institution we would like to thank you for Musasa but there are even other associations like Musda and others in those secular institutions they have still stood to show the world that God and his word is still holding on to us even up to today and through Jesus Christ, we can receive salvation. And when we receive salvation, when we get baptized by immersion, we enter into a working relationship with Christ, which relationships makes us to hate what is evil and to love what is righteous. It is my humble prayer and a prayer for each one of us that even today we can stand strong without feeling shame for the gospel. Hope us to still stand to tell somebody that God is love. Through our words and character, may somebody see the love of God. May somebody see the salvation which is in Jesus Christ. And may somebody be prepared for the soon coming of Jesus Christ. Hope us to do the needful. And as we thank you today for Musasa, May we hold on to that which the world calls foolishness, but to you it is wisdom. And we know that when Jesus comes back, we shall hear such words as, Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter now into the joy of your father. We don't want to be chased out of you. We don't want to be told to be cast into hell. But we want to be welcome in your bosom. I therefore want to commit each one of those who have stood up that you may hold us strong. May you help us to still hold on to Jesus Christ because soon and very soon Jesus is coming back and he will repay everyone according to what we have gone through. Bless us to carry on. Bless us to finish this journey and to speak like Paul said that I have fought a good fight I have finished the entire journey and I have kept the faith. Bless us to start strong, to continue strong, and to finish strong. For this is a humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen and amen. May the Lord bless you. Can you get seated a little bit? I want to invite my either chaplain or pastor to help us to lead us in a thanksgiving ceremony. It is not easy, but we need to celebrate that little moment when you say God is love and Christ is my savior. The moment is just here. We are going to give a thanksgiving offering to thank the Lord for the lives if it may not, you might have not been here in Musasa like me, but you can still celebrate with those who are celebrating. And so I want to invite you to go deep into your pocket to really offer something substantial so that something can be done out of this. Remembering that all the things we have done for ourselves we only benefit us as long as we are here. But whatever we put into the business of God, that's what counts here, but even through eternity. My pastor. I 
a big hand clap for Pastor Tsache. God bless you abundantly. When he was preaching, and he told us to turn to our neighbors, and we told them, we are here to celebrate your foolishness. I was looking at Elder Chiranda. Elder Chiranda served, served here at Musasa. He was seated next to his wife, Mimi, and I was wondering, waiting to see who is going to tell the other, we are here to celebrate your foolishness. I don't know if you are challenged like me. On my left was my boss, Pastor Chigundu. And I was wondering, should I <laughs> tell him we are here? How could I? How could I? In fact, when he turned to me, I told him, no, let me tell these other ones. <laughs> Pastor, thank you uh, for ministering to us. We are going to transition into uh, an aspect of thanking God, which is going to be led by uh, one of us, a tutor, a lecturer, Brother Boris. Uh, please get ready. Uh, the choir is going to come to thank God, to prepare us with a thanksgiving song. As you get set with a we want to hear that song in a special way to prepare our minds. Allow me uh, to recognize a few people who are also here to celebrate with us. Uh, we have uh, the guild president of the nursing school, uh, Brother uh, Biachika Joseph. Please stand up together with the vice president, uh, Brother Mawanda Patrick. Where is the vice president? We want to thank you. Okay, God bless you. We want to thank you for loving Musasa. God bless you in your leadership. There is a list we have. Pastor knows you are number one on my 12 people. I will tell you. God bless you. Uh, we have uh, Sister Nagawa, Sarah. There you also. Thank you for joining us. Uh, throughout this entire week, we had Evangelist Kato Ezra leading in the Prophecy Series. Please stand up also for recognition. Oh, God bless you. Now, uh, Brother Kato, uh, Kato Ezra there, pastor has preached. In case there is anyone amongst ourselves here, through the message and through the entire week, and you feel prompted that you want to get baptized, today there is baptism at Kampala Central Church. I want uh, Brother Kasun. I don't know where you, you are, but you would stand up. Please stand up. Stand up. This is your moment. We call him here evangelism. So in case you're interested in getting baptized, see him. We register you and we make sure you get uh, baptized. Allow me also recognize the president of the Uganda National uh, Uganda Nurses Student Association, uh, UNAS NAM. Uh, where are you, Brother Kaji Joseph? Okay, thank you for loving Musasa. God bless you. We had Elder Neto. Elder Neto? I saw him there. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us in the celebrations. Last but not least, a very special person who loves us so much. All the way from Najana Nkumbi. Najana Nkumbi is where I got my wife from, from Nchima clan. Uh, Sister Robina Kagere, Kagera, uh, the area manager of Acute and also the principal nursing officer. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate 20 years of Musasa. Uh, we had, I told you about the PCM leadership, but at Kampala Central Church, we have the PCM leader, uh, Mrs. Teddy. Uh, Teddy, where are you seated? I saw you. Oh, sure. oh but, but you're there to represent. Please stand up. The husband, you're there to represent Teddy. God bless you. Thank you for loving Musasa. Thank you for picking from Musasa eh? In, by extension. <laughs> okay. Uh, Please come on stage, the song, then Brother Boris. I have good news. The lunch is ready. They are preparing. As soon as this is done, Brother Boris is not taking long. The food is there for all of us.
Achila mejo sima Tusha kwe maza Nyo kose bielaga Jino kituwa chisubila Teka bante mani gafe Muka matusha kwe maza Nyo kose bielaga Jino kituwa chisubila Teka bante mani gafe Can you give them another hand clap? Amen. Another hand clap, ladies and gentlemen. Where are the ushers? Usher, please come. They have given me the time to you bring here the, the pulpit. The full pulpit has been given to me. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath, everyone. <coughs> it is time for Thanksgiving. There are usually some scriptures that follow thanksgiving. One of them, one of the ones I like is that if you spare, if you sow sparingly, it is, uh, someone was saying it is, it is, uh, it is a verse of intimidation. But uh, the guest of honor who is looking younger and I see he's seated in front of me. Thank you so much for coming. The preach of the day. The district pastor. The district pastor is somewhere. The elders are around. The Musasa presidents. Can all these people stand up in a special way? You know these people. Yes. The Musasa presidents. Where are they? Thank you so much. They are. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for coming. The presidents were around. The elders. Elders are. Uh, Yes, Elder Chilanda, Elder Roro, the PCM leaders, the PCM leader you are introducing in your absence, the students' associations in different institutions. They are also around. Thank you so much. Now, <coughs> and the students of Musasa. Now, the students of Musasa, Pastor Perez, sometimes you know when you are in class, Sometimes students take you to be some some other thing, but now we are we are in the church. Not so. Yes, we live alone. Things of class. If there is any dental student around, we are not in the dental lecture. Not so. 
those things of class you shall leave them there shall come back another time so uh this uh, as we are thanking god we used to have uh, challenges around here first of all i will come my my wife where is my wife she's around eh yes thank you and the matron my the matron to my wife is around yes dr chaze christine can you stand up yes of course my best man yeah i think you see i'm protected thank you so much 10 years ago 2014 when i left this place it means i had come three years before that not so we used to have many challenges among our the, the most challenge we had was food and you know every time we used to have food problem i don't know whether it is still there i know somewhere the treasurer is laughing my treasurer who is seated to the patron <laughs> okay she knows she used to cook for us very good rice can you wave to us alan she was the cook of our time very nice rice yes so among the challenges we had was rice we used to cook rice and peas these days has it changed it has not changed it has changed a bit and uh, the problem is that they used to ask for money and you know asking for money is uh, is not so good sometimes you, it is not your willing that you're asking for money but you know when you have something like your project it can really boost you you know when you have money even if you are not using it you can be so happy but if you don't have money even when someone is, is just saying hi how are you you feel ah he's going to ask money and i don't have so money for rice was a problem so <clears throat> the leadership of Musasa inspired by the Holy Spirit and the wisdom from our elders have seen it in good faith that they can have a project can you say amen to this not so can we say amen to Musasa leadership amen. amen it is not very good every time to keep asking pastor Perez pray for us the prayer requests we don't have a food i don't know this week what we are going to cook then now of course those who have not contributed will or why you pray from kcc today <laughs> or why you pray from my mother church it, it wouldn't be a nice thing not so so uh, as we are thanking god ladies and gentlemen i want us to to thank god with what these people are requiring from us and what they are requiring from us is to contribute to the project that they are requesting to start one of them is something we can all of these are manageable before i leave this microphone we shall have these projects done one of the projects is uh, something three million of a tent three million three million is some can we say amen, amen. they want to begin just a tent project to hire something someone wants to have nkoba zambo go pate banya chijezi pate basoka sete you know how you do it you people not so then those ones you can take it for 100,000 200,000 500 and musasa keeps having some money in the pocket not so we also have another project of uh, they want to buy a dental chair and of course once a dental chair this is uh, uh just 16 million this is also something we can have today so that musasa can be hard can have a project running ladies and gentlemen if you think those things are possible raise up your hand yes thank you so much it is not good ladies and gentlemen to keep begging or to have a prayer request that we can handle ourselves now the students they said for them they can start this thing and i require and i request require and request and beg that uh, i get another microphone i get an i get ushers here and i get someone to collect this money this is something like 18 million and i know god does not leave the 
his children alone we collect this money briefly in a way of thanking God not so yes you cannot have 20 years of age and you say me yes, I'm 20 years but my father please buy for me a shoe yes you have the microphone thank you so much uh, where is the one who is going to collect for us this money the deacons and deaconesses. Deacon, I request one deacon to come just near me. And a deacon yes. is around? Yes, yes. I used to. Do, do you still remember the song of Deep and Wide? Yes. It was one of the songs I liked from. Are you good at singing in a way? I try. I you try. try. Yes. yes. Uh, can you have. You, you want to remain standing? We are using 20 minutes. And of course, I request the students, of course the students, the initi initiators of the project, they are the ones to first put something in the what? In the basket. Meanwhile, we have two envelopes. They are those which are, that have nothing on them. If at all you have such an envelope, the one from Uganda, Central Uganda Conference, you shall write something like Musasa Project. But in case you you have the other one, you can put what you have in the what? In, in, of course, put your name and also put something there. Meanwhile, in case you also feel like me, I have tents already, you are free to come and say something. That's the reason why I've brought this gentleman near me. Thank you so much. Them Sasa students. I begin with the students. Students also have money. Students, please first. Meanwhile, I want somebody with the. Yes, Joel. Can you have somewhere to sit comfortable so that you do not stand and count this money in a wrong way? You cannot just count 18 million like that. Yes, the microphone uh, as, as is the there. students are coming. Deep and wide. Deep and wide there is a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide there is a fountain flowing deep and wide. And deep, wide and deep there is a fountain flowing wide and deep. There is no student who has to say something. Good, 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 good. Thank you so much. Uh, students, students, they are still coming. Please, you give a student. They may think that you, they are, the students don't speak. Maybe uh, one, one student called the mom yesterday or father and they said, we are sending that money tomorrow. Oh, it is on mobile money. We can't refuse that money. Any student who wants to speak something? Yes. Even if it is a pledge. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. The head, so, the head deacon is coming. That is the head deacon, Mr. Chiza Enoch. Yes, thank you. Head deacon can extend there. So, yes, thank you so much. Absaba. And happy to rest. I want to begin by thanking God for enabling us to be here today. And I've come just to pass an announcement, amen. <laughs> Among us, I believe we have colleagues who didn't come with cash because I've made some. So if you didn't come with cash, you note it down and you indicate your contact because currently I'm not seeing my treasurer to 
give out her contact so you note down your the treasurer is here she can give us her contact and then we make a deposit but on making deposit you alert us on that envelope that this is the contact is depositing this such that when she receives the message she gets to know that it is you thank you so much she's a enoch she's a enoch yes sir i say the one who holds the microphone is going to speak Chisa Enoch, what are you speaking on this 18 million? Happy Sabbath. <laughs> My speech on the 18 million. <laughs> it is going to be a pledge, amen? amen. And it is of 20,000. Thank you, Chisa Enoch. Yes, uh, thank you so much. Uh, <coughs> uh, our pastor we have people who were in this in this institution some time ago someone when i was saying that i was there 13 years in the first year someone was saying Yi, but there are others who were here more earlier than me yes uh but the, of course we need to organize the presence of people who were the founders we had the our Musasa associates we have people who they posted this photo where are they are these founders? I feel like being a founder is something big. Not you think so? Can you say amen to these founders? If they are there, they can please come and at least people see them. Amen. The founders, we, we, they can be around us, I'm sure. Let me try to get Elisha. Elisha. Do you see that photo in the Musasa page? What do you say? Me, I said amen when I saw those people. What do you say? The founders. Yes, the founders. <laughs> I hope you have data, my elder. Amen. Yes. The, the founders of this association, people are wondering, did it start 20 years ago or 15 years ago? Can it be true? It is 20. The founders, kindly. If there be any, of course they are there. Yeah, uh, by can, God's grace, we can stretch this microphone to them. I I see my patron Elder Sechewa is coming. Yes, he's one of the founders. Maybe he can tell us hello, why hello. people say that he was holding many posts in that regime. I don't know whether it was allowed. The treasurer. Thank you so much. Happy Sabbath Church. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Boris. Um, what do you want me to say? About the 18 million shillings or about founding the association? Anything. Anything. Or everything. Or everything. Yes. I want to thank God. Uh, let me speak as the uh, elder Kayewa and the wife, um, Dr. Adama is somewhere and the group. Um, some are not available. Uh, can can you allow them to come? Yeah, they should come. I'm calling them actually. Oh, okay, thank you so much. I'm calling them. Dr. Dr. Sam Adamai. Adamai and the group. He's from Naftali family in the KCC. I want also to call yes. Elder Taewa. I want to call uh, Mrs. Kagoro. <laughs> I want to call uh, Christine. Actually, those who have been out for more than 10 years, I'm calling them all. Uh, they are part of the founders. So they should come aboard. When they come, they will call more. Because maybe I'm, I'm not seeing some of them. But please, come. But Elder, you did something nice. As they are coming, yeah. may God bless you. Amen. Mm. So, they are coming. Or they need to be helped to come here. Okay, they will come. But let me, let me speak. I want to thank God that uh, 20 years ago we are students here in this great institution and we are young people like you are now. And God uh, actually helped us and inspired us to form or to organize. Doesn't mean that there was no worship here, but uh, as uh, the 
elders um, Amanya read, it was the worship was intermittent, on and off. Sometimes they could worship, sometimes they would not worship. And also I heard him speaking about uh, the activities being boring because people were fewer. But with the coming of some, some of these young people, I, I was waiting for you to come. Uh, Musasa came to be formed. So today we are thankful that we are celebrating 20 years. And um, part of those 20 years, I've been a patron for more than 10 years. I don't remember. Was it 2012? 2012. Yeah. 2012. And uh, the then leadership of Musasa gave me an appointment later that I'm, uh, I'll be replacing doctor, the late Dr. Ogwang Bosco. So I've been a patron of the association for these years, and I thank God over the years, the elders who have worked with the students in Musasa, and one of the elders is right there, Elder Chilanda, who replaced the Elder Nsubuga, who replaced Elder Nua, who replaced Leda Mark, who replaced Elder Seruaj, who replaced Elder Vincent, who replaced Elder Ogwang. So we thank God for that. As a, an associate, as a founding member, and as a patron, I'm going to pledge 500,000 for the project of Musasa. Thank you, my editor, Julius. Uh, we got a short note to come on this function, and we did not expect there was kind of a fundraising. Uh, we are elders at Chengera SD Church, and we have other projects going on. So for that very cause, we shall contribute 50,000 as a family, me and my wife. We have come with 10,000 today. Okay, praise God. I thank Brother Davison. He was my best man, by the way. <laughs> And the brother Sechewa was the best man of Mr. Davison. So something is happening. So we thank God also for this occasion. And Simon Amanya are my names. I'm pledging 100,000 for this Musas. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, we could like someone who should be mobile to take phone numbers of uh, those people and collect this money. My brother Joel. I didn't want you to sit so much. There is money there. Happy Sabbath. I'm Adamai Samuel, an occupational therapist from Musasa, 2006-2009. And uh, from 2000. 12 to 2016, I became an associate member of Q's the Western Campus. Now I am currently a non-registered member of Mosda. I am saying I'm a non-registered member because I'm at the Hill and I pray from KCC. So I'm not officially registered as Mosda member. Um, for this project, out of 18 million, I am giving 50,000 in pledge. May God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much, the, our associates and the founders. Being your founder is something. Can you give them another hand clap? Yes, thank you so much. Do we have uh, someone who is uh, on, in the microphone? Hey, in the bioma. The bioma, why we touch The machines. Yes, can you play some soft music? Because we have two important guests today, I'm going to request uh, uh, Elder Paul, you either go and sit with the, my, the with your fellow guest of honor, Danson, or she, he comes here. I, I don't know. Because in me, I don't know you rich people, how you do your things. I, they may misquote me. Either Salongo you join Brother Danson or Mr. Danson joins you. 
Meanwhile, the, that you should come. I don't want to annoy the rich man. <laughs> please, the one in the Buma, please, can you give the microphone? And the people sort themselves in the best way they want. Can you go for that for that gentleman? Yes, thank you so much. Yes, stop there. Now, there are many people who think that being an Adventist, you first you work in Karere, you work in Weya. They are going to tell you where they work. Most of the times they are not in the country. But thank you so much for for accepting Salongo and uh, Mr. Kamchai Danson to be part of us. Thank you, madam. Moses at 20. Mosasa 20, Kagere is my name, Kagere Robina. Yes, I first of all thank the organizing committee that recognized me and I have uh, an invitation. Yes, I uh, was introduced to like an area manager of a shoot, not only a shoot. But pediatric department. Yes. Yes, when I was given this post, I came from KCCA. And I was, I mean, I'm sorry to take all this long, but like I want to share with you the good that God has done to me and to the church as, as a whole. Um, when I came to Malago, uh, I found that uh, I was put in a small place I never expected. That is Jellyf, and that is one of the department in pediatrics. I found when there was no office, I had to create an office for myself. So they were there complaining, why is it that this person is making an office here? For long we have been here and we have never seen an in charge having an office. People learn to make your office, you know, make an office, make a change in wherever you go. Later, as you've continued to be there, people have realized we need to have, a, to have an office there. Um, in less than three months, when I had joined this Molago, I was recognized by someone big to sit in somebody's chair. Very big. So people complained, why is it that this person who has just come is given this office to sit in? Well, it was just sitting in for some time when he wasn't there. She wasn't there. So I saw that was God's power. Then from there, I was moving from far. That is from Kansanga. You know, that's moving up and down, coming to and fro. It was risky. So time came when they say, we have to apply for the accommodation that was there at that time. I applied. I told God, this is my house. And it came to be my house. So I said this was God's, God's uh, power for me to be accommodated here to avoid all the risks I was going through. Um, in less than two years, God saw that I have to, like spread the love of Jesus to other places. He moved me from that small where I was confined, that is in Jellyf. I was made to supervise 10 units. So I happened to be the area manager 
pediatrics. I'm sorry to take you all this long. Um, we thank God for making us move that journey of 20 years. And uh, um, saying that whenever you go, let's leave a legacy. I happen to supervise most of these people here. Let me see the nurses. The nurses here? Yes, I mentor them. And what I urge you people is to always keep the candle burning. Let's not put our candle under the basket. Where I see, where I sit, the people I interact with. By the way, let me tell you, I sit with big people. I moved from small, whatever, now I'm sitting with the top management. And that is God. And just pray for me that I reflect Jesus' love. And I Amen. try. Amen. Amen. I haven't betrayed the church. I'm contributing to this uh, 100,000. I'm sorry to take you long, but I had to share with you what God has done to me. Thank, Amen. You. Thank you so much, our area manager, Robin May. Can you clap for her? We want to ladies. And may God continue blessing her. May God continue pushing you heights, heights, heights up to when you reach heaven. Yes, thank you so much. You know, we respect, in Musasa, we respect our president. First of all, I'm going to first call those people who married from Musasa. <laughs> because you paid a little tuition. Other people, they go somewhere, they pay tuition. When they want to marry somewhere, they also pay dowry, but we have never received Musasa dowry. Can you come for those people as they come? You, 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 you married Musasa, but you only paid the tuition of Musasa. You never paid Musasa dowry. Now we, are, we want you. Including me. Oh, yes, my president. Thank you very much. I don't know if I will get another opportunity to speak here. If it is there, then you inform me. But I have a lot to share. For now... <coughs> My wife is Dr. Christine. Yes, by the way, Dr. Nakato. By the way, you are so smart. Can you come for the smartest of the man? Uh, thank you very much. Ah, you are the head let, elder. Let me take a few minutes also. Okay, no problem. Uh, this institution, uh, well, let's say the association of Masasa mentored me. Uh, when I came from the village, I came and said that my aunt is place. And then I started learning in Kampala when I was in Masasa. I started learning in manners of people who are elites from Musasa. I got an example from these gentlemen, the Amanyas, the Taebas, uh, Motanda. The Musasa we had that time, you people, when, we, when they will come, we, we will share with you how that Musasa was, and you will like it. I learned how to associate with many people. I got mentored by my seniors. I have uh, Najingo on the other side. She is a senior. She mentored me in the course. So I got morale to be a medic from those people. Now, I learned more leadership skills from here. Let me tell you this, much as I will elaborate later. You guys who are here, if you must get a spouse from this place, please do. Uh, there is no much time for you left. When you get out there and you start hustling, it is not very easy to get a spouse because there is no much time. For now, I have come with uh, something little, but being a, a former president of Musasa, I cannot get Musasa out of my budget. Therefore, I want to call upon the treasurer to keep in touch with me. We will be adding something. She was my treasurer when I was here. So when I sit with my treasurer at home, we will organize something bigger. For now, we have 30,000 in cash, which will top up 50,000 to make it 50 before this coming week ends. However, we can add more to that after sitting with my treasurer. Then we keep in touch with the, the treasurer who is around. Then we'll put something. Thank you so much. Can we give them another hand clap? Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Now, you know, you are my best man, so for I can give you instructions. Now, someone is looking at me as if she's hungry. <laughs> no, she's hungry. 
and food is ready. So we can try to summarize. Um, my name is Elisha Atwaire. I request my wife to stand up and wave to you. She has a lot of work. She has very many children there. Please. Uh, she's having a baby, but she's that lady. I got her from here. He also got his wife from here, so we are in the same class. Uh, please uh, say something, and then we, we move forward. They need to be talked for. After, I will say something, and then we shall move on. Mine is ready. So let your heart not be troubled. Amen. <laughs> All right. Uh, his envelope is ready. Uh, my, our contribution, we have a cash of 90,000. Uh, but of course, we shall keep in touch with Musasa. Uh, we had last year a project we had to make before I left. Uh, but you know, we shall need to closely supervise. If it is a dental unit, then uh, he's our consultant. And then we can see how best to run it. Thank you. Okay, can you clap for the president of presidents? Is your regime over? Or oh, you are still? He's still the president of presidents. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. I, I, uh, one of our friends wants to leave. Yes, I understand. But there's someone who like initiated this to be for my invitation here. And I'm calling him Mr. Mukasa. And we happen to work together somewhere. So I know. Yes, Mr. Mukasa. Can you come over? And like, uh, I pledge. I don't know. I'm just uh, pledging to, to have another piece of Brothers, uh, this table brothers, to donate to this church. Thank you so much, Madam Robin. I don't know whether my spiritual eyes are looking at you, but but you look like a, some type of angel that has come to Musasa. Can you give her another hand clap? Thank you so much. Yes. <coughs> yes. Freely, oh, freely can say something briefly. Not so, not so much, of course. Thank you very much, <laughs> Mami Robin. But uh, I'm an associate. I, I thought that they are going to call us when our turn the, comes. The problem lunch is ready, so. Okay, my envelope is here. It has a hundred thousand. Thank you so much. Can you give uh, Brother Mukasa another hand clap? God is good. Uh, my name is Rubega. I'm a married man. Unfortunately, my wife is not around. Uh, she loved to be here, but uh, she had she got some issues. I'm glad to be here. Musasa changed me. Uh, those were in Musasa can testify. Thank God for that. Now, uh, this was on short notice, but I would wish to contribute. Uh, is it in kind? Uh, by God's grace, we happen to own a company this called Ideal Dental and Medical Supplies. Now we deal in dental chairs and all other accessories. You see? I, <laughs> Angels have appeared. Uh -huh. Now, uh, right now we have dental chairs around. Uh, I consulted my treasurer and this is what she told me. Um, if it's Musasa, uh, we can give them a new dental chair at 12 million. Uh, so, reducing that amount they talked about here uh, for the ones that are around. But still, there's another option of importing a dental chair from Musasa at only 10 million. That's all. Thank you so much. Uh, the one in the Bioma, thank you so much for what you are doing. Now, you know that sometimes there are friends who are one of our friends, Mr. Danson, 
wants to move to go somewhere can we allow him or we force him to be around we cannot force but by God's grace we can easily force no, but because he has some other thing he's going to do which is of course also some uh, imp important for Musasa somehow we are going to the DJ you are the DJ or you are the PA manager yes give some give this gentleman some uh, soft music he wants to go somewhere he can speak to us briefly he's a very close friend to the guest of honor that's why I made them sit together he's a friend to the guest of honor a very good friend thank you so much uh, Mr. Kamakusha Danson please you can talk to to Musasa Yes, happy Sabbath church and happy day. Uh, my name is uh, Salongo Paul Mugabe and I worship with Kampala Central Church. Only that this invitation was extended to my brother Danson. But maybe before, before he makes a submission, I am one of the friends of Mosasa family. And I remember I served as one of their elders in 2018, 2019, and uh, it was a nice experience then. And uh, of course, this was a short notice, and uh, I, 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 I'm also surprised that I'm uh, being called as the guest of honor. But what I must say, Christ Jesus, the guest of honor of today. Yeah, Jesus Christ is the guest of honor. And so, before I proceed, my brother told me that I first make a submission before he does. And uh, I and my family will make a pledge of 500,000 towards this. Thank you very much. Happy Sabbath. I hear everybody called here is saying it's a short notice. I'm surprised to be. And so I fall in the same category. Politics, eh? But um, serving God is serving God. And whenever you are called, you are called to serve. I want to change the language of uh, calling somebody a chief guest. I'm not the chief guest here. I have not uh, come here this morning as a chief guest. I came to worship. And now that there is a cause, let's just go and face the cause. Amen. Now, um, I'm a farmer. That's what I do. I rear animals, and I can't give you an animal you need the equipment and the tents so I will go and sell my animals and I raise two million for the cause <laughs> happy Sabbath can we say uh, can we clap for this gentleman <laughs> Now it is coming, it is raining. After, after big people have spoken, you do not speak a lot. That's why you saw I was a bit speechless, but may God bless you, gentlemen. Yes. <clears throat> I do not know those people, all of them, their names are... I don't know, they are, they are friends. How I wish Musasa people also, you, you, you befriend one another. So that as rich people, you also sit very, very close to one another. You see, we have Chigundu Chisache, <laughs> KKK. But it is coming to, it is raining, gentlemen. Pastor, I'm leaving that department to you. 
Yes, thank you so much. Uh, I had welcomed the people, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, time is gone. So I'm going to request the presidents who are here to let's come and summarize this thing. The presidents, the elders, uh, they may not be actually the presidents, but they are any prepared member, by the way. Because time is gone, we can, if you wish to say something, please this is the time. We are using 10 minutes and we finish this program. Happy Sabbath Church. Happy day. Uh, we thank God for Musasa making the 20 years in service. And we are the Institute of Survey and Land Management in Tebe, comprising of the surveyors, the planners. And we hold, I'll call it Special Course Institute. We join with the uh, fisheries, Adventist students there, and uh, the meteorology, Adventist students. So we make one umbrella. They are still with us as Isida. And uh, having been happy with these people for this great mile achievement, we congratulate them as well, thank God, with uh, an envelope of 105,000. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, any other any other person? I see people coming with the envelopes. Thank you so much. Joel, can you please help me here? Yes, uh, yes, DJ Linda Hokatono. Happy Sabbath, brethren. My name is Friday Richard Mugisha, an associate of Musasa. I am making a cash contribution of 100,000 cash. Thank you so much. Yes, can we come for Friday, Richard? Thank you so much. Now, I want someone with a, a jacket to push this, to move me, to move the microphone. Because people, someone may be wanting to speak, but he cannot come in the rain, of course. Someone with an umbrella. Someone with an umbrella. Where are deacons? Where are deacons? If we, yes, the deacon, please come. Come and take this microphone. Come and take the microphone. Yes, thank you to that tent. There is someone who wants to speak. Our contribution is 300,000. Yes, thank you so much, Elder Silanda. Uh, plus your wife for the contribution. God bless you. Yes, uh, the, uh, the, where are you putting your umbrella down? Yes. I need to be directed where to go. The, uh, the microphone, of course, is in that tent. <coughs> Don't mind about rain. Those are blessings. Mind. Blessings from God. He's the one who knows why he's bringing this rain. Thank you. Yes, someone with a microphone, please speak. Nakalima Doroth is my name. I'm praying one million. For now, I'll give 50. Yes, thank you so much. Sister, I didn't get your name well, but God bless you. You can... Uh, the one who is recording, have you heard the name? Yes, can we get to know the name? My name is Nakalima Dorothy. I'm praying one million. 
I'll send it next month. But for now, I have 50,000. Amen. Thank you so much. I hope the dick on that side you have for. Uh, the deacons are not supposed to fear rain. Can you please go and take that money? And also pick the number from her. Yes, thank you so much. Aha, uh -huh, the microphone is still there, ladies and gentlemen. It is just rain disturbing us, but we would have started taking lunch. The one with the, with the microphone, please, you are not respecting one of uh, the guests. Is any Yes, yes, yes. Uh, are we done that side? We are almost. Almost. Yes, almost. Ladies and gentlemen, when this rain is done, our lunch is ready. Um, just rain is giving us time to, to, to pledge or give money, but our lunch is ready. Yes, where is the microphone? The mic is here. Yes, you can give it to those gentlemen. They are very smart. Uh, yes, there is someone near you. You have refused to give him the microphone. Next where you're seated. Yes, thank you. Yes. The big one is uh, moving in rain kindly. Don't uh, allow him to suffer for nothing. Pampe, you can sympathize the deacon. Sympathize the man of God. Rain is beating him, Bambi. Okay. There are some people who don't want to speak. It is okay not to speak. You just tell us we bring the envelope. They are silent givers. And a silent give us that side. <laughs> yes, thank you. They are they are silent give us. Thank you so much, Deacon. Okay, my brother, you have. Uh, you are, uh, do you have any problem with this tent? You are ignoring it for a long time. Are you, you are ignoring this tent? Any problem with it? Yes, thank you so much, our silent givers. Uh, my, my brother, so what is the end of that stint? There is one of the renowned land surveyors. Please don't you know that man he can easily change the title of this nursing school. Yes. And easily change the land title and we find ourselves belonging to the hospital. Yes. The deacons 
They are really serving God to them. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't mind your your pay is in heaven. Let me really beat you. God is going to bless you. About that. Yes, any, any associates who are seated there and who is seated there and you feel because of rain we are not taking long legs and gentlemen. In the case that is any associate, you feel you want to say something, you can even give us the tent itself. Yes. Where's the microphone? Yes, I'm deploying one of the the hardworking deacons to come and pass by for the Zion to give us. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Joel, please pass by that text. I'm seeing the silent givers are so many. Man. Yeah, we have some angels here that God is sending us. Where is Evangelist Ezra? Okay, he's giving us $50 at the end of the month. Thank you so much. There, there is a, a president I cannot fail to call. At least I may ignore all of you, but I cannot call, fail to call. Of course, my brother. Where is my brother, Michael? My, Michael, where are you? The man can hate me for that. You know, this gentleman is so hardworking. Thank you so much. Then also, my brother Gabi. Those are when you talk of Musasa and you don't talk about this man. Ah, so much. You can see the blazer. The blazer, you can think someone ironed it, but the man is single. Yes, as Gabi is coming. Let the, the pharmacy speak. Uh, let the pharmacy speak, you man. Okay. Thank you very much. So, we are so delighted to be here and uh, we shall contribute with 300,000 children. Have you had 300,000 shillings? Can you clap for that gentleman? Thank you so much, Michael, for your contribution. Is Brother Gabby around? He's behind me. Hey. Oh, can you, DJ, Gabby is coming. Can you play some music? As we are going to prepare the closing song. 
Yes, okay, brother so, uh, Gabi, people are not looking, so, so. seeing you very well. You, you know, I had learned to be a silent giver, but today you pulled me out. Oh, yes. <laughs> we know we know how God works, you don't know. <laughs> Happy Sabbath, members. Uh, towards the, the, the dental unit, I and my family shall look for some 300,000. Thank you so much. We shall look for 300,000. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next two minutes, I'm going to close. Any person that I've not given opportunity, I don't want to be hated for not giving someone opportunity. Yes, my patron. <coughs> yes, you want to? I want to call. You want to call? Yes. Okay, okay. It is not in me. <laughs> Stephen Mwanga. Is that I saw him. S Stephen. Yes. Amen. Stephen Mwanga. Stephen. Stephen Mwanga. And the, ah, he's there right there. And then I want to also to call uh, Dr. Nam, uh, Najingo Mire, one of the founding members. I've not seen her, but she's right there. Oh, yes. Forgive me for not calling such an important person. Dr. Najingo. You know, Mire. when you are this side, you don't know what is the other side. And this gentleman here, Dr. Stephen Mwanga. Oh. He was my student at one time. Oh, patron, you are going to forgive me for missing yeah. out some of those very important people. Oh, okay. uh, but so never never, I thank you all to also have me on this uh, occasion. I'm still a Musasa member. And I'm going to contribute 100,000. Yes, as a doctor is, is going to speak, in the case you have mobile money, mobile money, we have uh, the person we have trusted so much called Pelon, Pelon Ainamani, Pelon Ainamani, and she's the treasurer of our association. She's an ordained minister, and we we have seen it as a, a committee that those with the mobile money can reach out to this person and this number zero seven eight nine four three nine nine three eight. There's another one zero seven zero two six one. Nine four five seven. Thank you so much. Yes, Doctor. I'm sorry that I didn't know that you're hello, here. Hello. I'm very Staff sorry. Members? Yes. I'll pledge five hundred thousand. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much, Doctor, for the contribution. Uh, any other person, Pastor Perez, that among us, these people that I've forgotten? I've not forgotten anyone. Yes. Any. So if that is it. Joel, you're bringing any news from that side? Okay. Someone wants a Kazindalo, that side? As we are going to pray for food? Yes. Yes, 
Yes, thank you so much. Kindly deacons organize something to because the person speaking is putting on angels attire. <laughs> Very white. Yes, thank you so much. Me and my husband, we shall bring 150. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, allow me close this side. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Uh, we are announcing for the loss of uh, Nokia phone. If you have lost your phone, you can call that number. I will receive you. Then you come to me to pick it. Any of you has lost the phone, you call your number. Then you come to your phone. Yes, thank you so much. I think, I think, uh, we need to stop here, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to pray for our food? Because yes, do you want to give some? I have the last person going to speak. You <laughs> Happy Sabbath. Happy day. We are going to give you 300. <laughs> yes, can you come for this gentleman? Okay, you're saying 300,000? Uh, Pastor Perez, allow allow. I stop here unless there is a yes, we are going to go for lunch. In case there is anyone who has not say spoken anything, please reach out to the committee members here. We trust them so much with the money. And in case you have anyone you feel has not given, you extend our request. I know we shall receive that money in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much whoever has given money. Some people have given and they are quiet. They are saying to give us. Can we clap for, with this, for these people for sure? Thank you so much, so much, so much, so much. God bless you. Pastor Perez, pray for the food. Because of uh, the weather, the team of uh, ushers are ready. Wherever you are seated, they are going to be bringing the food. And uh, Joyce, just be comfortable. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, we come to your presence this afternoon, thanking you, Lord, for the gift of life. We want to thank you for this great day when we are celebrating Musasa at 20. We want to thank you for the generosity of everybody who has contributed towards this noble cause. We want to ask you, Lord, to continue to bless the work of their hands. May you expand their territories. Help them to be fruitful and multiply in whatever they touch and do. We want to thank you for the student leadership. We want to thank you for all the members of Musasa. We want to pray, Lord, that through all these efforts, many people may be brought to Jesus. There is a meal set before us. May you bless it to nourish our bodies, for we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. The ushers and deacons, while we uh, they play the music, even the team with the Jewish, please, let's go ahead. <laughs> Tulina tulwani na byonna, tetwera ni kilina, 